What is up guys, it's me Vlad, and as you guys have asked me hundreds upon hundreds upon millions of freaking times, billions, gazillions, today I'm going to make a tutorial and showcase you guys how to actually get the pitch black game breaking color code and grill attack as you guys may have asked me you know i'm saying we hit the like goal of a thousand likes on the previous video and you guys should like this video too because if we hit 1000 likes on this video i'm actually going to show you guys how to get behind and remove these logs inside of the attic map so make sure to drop a like and subscribe to not miss that video and let's get started so as you guys have asked me previously, we have the impossible pitch black color code that pretty much breaks the game completely. To showcase that you guys, that this is not fake, you guys can see that my color code is literally pitch black. Like, it's not at the level that you normally get inside of the game. Like, it's pretty much like a black hole, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm just kind of like a mini black hole just going around Gorilla Tag. And you guys might be asking me, Vlad, uh, why is this breaking Gorilla Tag? First things first, it's breaking the whole freaking board over here. As you guys can see, you cannot change your color code anymore. Uh, although, there is a way to do that later on which I'm going to showcase, it's pretty easy. Uh, but uh, it breaks this complete board, and this is in every map. So you guys don't think that, like, I uh, edited this with some, like, CGI or mods or whatever. Like, this is pretty much in every map. So this is the color code we have over here, as you guys can see. Uh, and, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this actual color code is really great for hiding so uh, there are a ton of cool spots in gorilla tag that you can hide with i'm going to showcase you guys a few because literally like if we actually go to those places like you definitely cannot see pretty much anything like my personal favorite i would say would be over here so as you guys can see uh, there is a pitch black pretty much spot over here if you go in here y'all can see that like you barely can see my hands whatsoever man like i'm going to showcase you guys with a camera how it pretty much looks like so for example from the third uh personal perspective uh if we go over here boom you cannot see me you cannot see me and to the people in the past video who are saying you can see my ears brain you can cover your ears man you know what i'm saying you don't have to like pretty much you almost cannot see me and uh, you can cover your ears if you even do man so 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 y'all may ask me vlad so this is really game breaking you're pretty much as black as a pitch black ba black hole uh and um you know what i'm saying how do you get this how do you get this you know what i'm saying so first things first i want to have a little disclaimer over here you know what i'm saying this is done for entertainment purposes uh, only you know what i'm saying so uh, don't abuse this and don't will do anything like crazy with it obviously you know what i'm saying this is just for fun if you want to test it out with like um yourself in the private lobby or something like that you know what i'm saying so if you obviously abuse this like any like glitch or anything like that uh you have obviously a chance of getting banned or anything like this if you go into like public lobbies and stuff like this uh but uh pretty much yeah you know what i'm saying just wanted to discredit that and this actually works in pretty much all of the lobbies so like all of the people can see your color like this uh which is kind of crazy uh but uh pretty much it so let me actually just showcase to you guys how you can do this yourself. And uh, after the words, I'm just going to showcase to you guys some cool hiding spots with this. So uh, let's cut to the video. Okay, guys, as you guys can see, now we are on the PC. And by the way, to the people asking me, can you do this on your Quest? You can. Obviously, you can see I'm playing on my Quest 3. You know, I'm saying this will work with a Quest 2. Um, but uh, you will need to pretty much uh, have Steam VR installed. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a little caveat over there, man. But I think it, it was to be expected. You know what I'm saying? So, pretty much what you have to do to start off is you have to get on your computer, then go to this search bar over here. Here, you're going to have to look up R E G 
i s t r y so registry editor so pretty much this is really easy you know what i'm saying it's uh unnecessarily easy i'm not gonna lie like uh, i would personally even like if they had this i would make it more difficult to obtain you know what i'm saying but pretty much what you do is you hit on the registry editor you hit yes if you get prompted and next you are going to have pretty much this pop up so originally what you guys are going to be in is called the h key uh current user so i am uh, just going to showcase how you guys can get to the folder i'm in so pretty much what you guys originally are going to see is going to be this so this is what you're originally seeing so uh once you see this you want to open up the h key current user then open up the software tab and over here just scroll down this is an alphabetical order to gorilla tag so it shouldn't be that difficult or actually no it's going to be called another axiom and then gorilla tag so gorilla tag like this so this is the complete path over here if y'all wondering uh and uh, pretty much it so guys 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 uh next what you guys are going to want to do you're gonna see a bunch of different things over here don't get overwhelmed man you know what i'm saying uh we're not um doing some crazy stuff over here uh pretty much what you guys are going to want to do is find the three rgb values if you don't know rgb stands for red green and blue and these are the values that uh, are setting pretty much our color inside of gorilla tag so for example this is going in uh pretty much uh alphabetical order so first we have blue over here so blue value uh h whatever so you guys are going to want to double click on this and it'll open it up i already done this but pretty much uh your guys probably gonna see some a bunch of different ladders over here so what you guys are going to want to do is pretty much delete everything so just uh you know what i'm saying uh delete everything over here and then type in f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f like this then stop you know what i'm saying after you see this point you know what i'm saying when you filled out the whole line with f's stop and hit okay so next we have the green value so you hit on this boom so you delete this and you do f f f f f f f f f yo i got over one right this is the most f's i've said uh, in uh, my lifetime i'm not gonna lie so you hit the okay button next you guys you guys have pretty much red value left so red value you can do this in any order by the way uh but uh, pretty much you just want to change these to all of the f's once again boom boom and hit okay so after this, you guys can finally just close out of this. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do anything crazy with this, man. This is pretty much it. This is how you get it, man. But make sure to stay for the rest of the video because I want to showcase to you guys how to actually change the color code back and a few secret hiding spots with this actual setting. Because, yo, you cannot change the color code with the nods because the nods are broken. But there is one slight way that I found myself. So let's get back into the game. Okay, guys, as you enter the game, you may notice that you have this color code. And as I've said before, you know what I'm saying? You cannot change the nods. So. So I'm going to showcase later to you guys how to actually change uh, it back, you know what I'm saying, to a normal color code. It's an ex extremely easy, man, but it's also kind of like a weird way to do that. Uh, but before, I just wanted to showcase some cool spots where you can hide with this color code. For example, if you want to troll your friends, pretty much, um, you know what I'm saying, in the game. So if you're playing hide and seek or something like this, uh, this is extremely, extremely OP. So the first spot is located inside of the cave. In particular, this mine region. So it's extremely, extremely OP. If you go over here behind the actual, um, oh yo, 
it's gonna glitch over here so behind this as you guys can see over here is literally one of the most op spots in the game because you can sit here just close your ears and no one will be able to see you even better is even if you crawl in this spot and like this is extremely pretty much pitch black so you guys are just going to be able to sit here and uh, sit through for example you know what i'm saying your friends trying to find you. okay next spot Next spot that I personally like is if we go over here. Okay, so we climb out. If we go into the city, there are a bunch of spots. I'm not gonna lie, the city is like very, very dark. I would say the metropolis is also very dark. But in the city in particular, uh, there is a spot over here uh, that uh, if you go to really you know what i'm saying like yo ain't no one finding you over here let's be honest you know what i'm saying you just sit here boom uh and even if they try to find you i mean you're just going to blend in uh and uh yo what is this cosmetic yo i haven't seen a single person wear this cosmetic in my life yo i yo i don't know man i don't know man let me know in the comments. Have y'all seen anyone wear the bushy eyebrows cosmetic ever, man? Yo, I feel like I haven't seen a single person wear that in my life. Uh, but whatever. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the spots. You know what I'm saying? You can do some research on your own, but uh, that's kind of what I like, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Many of y'all may have asked me, Vlad, so you have this pretty much color code, and you cannot change the values in any map whatsoever. What is the trick to going back to your main color code? You know what I'm saying? It's cool and fun for a little, uh, but then you want to just uh, go back to your own color code. So what you guys are going to want to do is actually go to the computer and then scroll down until you have color. Over here, you're just going to want to type in whatever color code you would like. You know what I'm saying? And it pretty much changes your color code. So now all of the knobs are completely fine. You know what I'm saying? You can change them and everything like this and pretty much comes back. So this is pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you learned anything, make sure to hit that like button because if we hit a thousand likes, I'm going to showcase how to open this attic over here for y'all. And you know what I'm saying? Make sure to subscribe to not miss the latest videos. I try to upload every single day and I've been for like almost a year or so. So appreciate everyone, man. See you guys later. I'm out. Peace out.